some more summer outfit ideas and more ways to find your personal style, living and shopping in New York City, and some fabulous fashion finds. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So in this video, we talked about outfits that were kind of the same, just in a different font. And in this video, we talked about the importance of the T in debt and how to think outside of the box. And now I want to merge those two ideas from both of those videos just to hone in further into your personal style. So this idea kind of came to be because a few of you have left comments expressing your frustration with not being able to find your personal style or just not knowing where to start. And this made me think about a theory that I learned about in grad school. It's called the theory of multiple intelligences. And without really getting into it and being too nuanced about this theory, it's essentially the idea that people learn in different ways. You might be the person that learns from analyzing problems and problem solving and learning step by step that way. You might be the person that's a little more visual and has to see things to really take it in, right? Everyone learns in a different way and at a different pace. This concept can surely be utilized when trying to find your personal style, right? Some folks have what we believe is this innate sense of style. They've always dressed well and they just have it. Now, a lot of these times, these people come from fashionable cities or they come from an artsy city or a artsy family or a fashionable family and they kind of learn how to dress themselves and their personal style through just being around it like osmosis right they learn from being around art and fashion and beauty it was more or less ingrained into them. I talk a lot about my aunts on both sides of my family, who I believe to be some of the most fabulous women. I've told you guys many times, they all had minks. They're all just these beautiful, educated women on both sides of my family, right? So I feel like I've learned so much from them. If you watch this video, I show you a little bit how they dressed me when I was a kid and how that translates into how I dress now. Go check that video out. It was very interesting when I realized the connection of how my family dressed me and how I dress myself as an adult. So a lot of things that I've learned fashion wise and just, and not necessarily like the history of fashion, but just how to express myself was from being around my family, my mom, my aunts, my grandmothers, my grandmother's sister, my great aunts, right? And also just living in New York, right? Then you have those people who don't necessarily live in a fashionable city. They're not living in Milan. They're not living, you know, in Paris, they come from a smaller place, but they also have this fabulous sense of style. They might have learned their sense of style from looking at magazines or fashion shows. They had to go seek out some inspiration. Now, both of these people have amazing style. They had just learned how to find their styles in completely different ways. Everybody learns differently and at a different pace. So if you are frustrated and can't seem to find your personal style, be easy, breathe well, and know that you will eventually find what you're looking for. Listen, that's why I come up with things like debt because I know that people learn differently right? So some people are visual, so I try to use as much pictures as I can. Some people respond more, more to words and acronyms. That's why I try to get that in there, right? The point is there are people that have to go through trial and error and they have to practice, practice, practice. This doesn't mean that you will never have style. It doesn't mean that you don't have style. It just means you are developing your style in a different way. I'm currently kind of working on a video idea or a series of video ideas. That's theories to personal style, kind of like the theories of multiple intelligences. <laughs> and I'm trying to make some connections. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about that. That might take a while for me to develop and really pinpoint what I want to say. But that's something I'm very excited about showing you guys. But I said all 
of that to say that today we are going to be focusing on the details, the D in debt, right? Finding the details on the outfit you want to create and why the T in debt is still the most important out of the three steps. So immediately when I put these three outfits on the screen, you see that these are the same outfits in a different font, like we talked about in the last video. And the next thing you see is a big detail in these three outfits is the red and white gingham. Now, you might not like any of these outfits, which is fine, but we're gonna use these as example for the purpose of the video, right? I need you to try to look past the actual style and try to get the purpose of what I'm trying to say. A lot of times when you're looking for the details in the outfit, the statement piece, if there is a statement piece in the outfit, will be the biggest detail. And what's so interesting is that the statement piece in each outfit is styled so differently. For example, this outfit is giving me LA. It's laid back. It's very cool girl. The pants are cargo, a midriff, I believe hoodie on paired with the Louis Vuitton bag and a statement necklace, right? It's very much giving me LA, very laid back and cool. This one is a little bit more Charlotte York, right? But also kind of cool the way it's paired with the tank top, but the skirt and the pointy toe flats make it a little more uptown, if you will. And with this outfit, it's giving me fashionable mom, right? Like she has young kids, but she still wants to be comfortable. For some reason, she lives in Charlotte, North Carolina for me. <laughs> I don't know why that just came to my head, but she's still fashionable and young and hip. All different vibes same base detail, but giving you so much with each different outfit. So the little exercise we have here is that you are going to choose one of these outfits. Okay, again, none of these may be your style, but if you had to choose one, what would it be? And then pick up those details and compare them to the outfit that you didn't choose, right? For example, let's go with the skirt. Out of the three, I like them for all different reasons, honestly, and they all can fit into a part of my life. But if I had to, and this is not necessarily my style either, honestly, but if I had to, I would definitely choose the skirt option. So what's so different of the skirt option and the other options? Well, the skirt option, in my opinion, it's a little more dainty. Like I said, it's uptown, even though I live in Brooklyn, which is downtown. And the detail in the outfit that I chose that is most different from the other two is that she is wearing a skirt. I love the cool factor from this one. Like I said, it's giving me very much LA and that would probably be my second choice, which is interesting because they're both very different. <laughs> Maybe I just like coastal living. And the one that I'm least likely to wear, even though I still think it's a fine and cute outfit, it doesn't have that extra bit of oomph that I'm looking for, that I usually look for. The skirt is voluminous and just dramatic. And then the cool girl just has this really laid back kind of vibe, but also has a statement like the necklace, right? The details are what separates these, but the tweaking is what makes it special. So if you do like this outfit, of course I have some options for you. If you like these outfits, I do have this option for you. I believe these pants look very similar to what she has on. I don't know if it's exact, but it's definitely giving me a very similar vibe. You can kind of play with these from Target if you're looking for a more laid back kind of vibe. And if you are a trendy girl and you know that capris are very much in right now, you can try these from Cotton On. And if you're like me and prefer the skirt version of this, this from ASOS and this from Wolf and Badger will do the trick. If you want a little leg out, this from PacSun can also really give you a similar vibe. And if you like the idea of red and white, but don't like the idea of gingham, and if you want something that has more clean lines and is a little more modern, this from Petal and Pup is a fabulous option. I love this dress and I would probably choose that over the gingham, just for my style. If you are the girl that likes the more laid back version of this, you need a statement necklace and any of these would do. And if you're going for a nice, beautiful, pointy pair of flats, these from Totem that are on sale that I'm 100% buying. These from Schutz are very cute. These from Sam Edelman and these from Steve Madden will all do the trick. Okay, so right away, 
we see with these three outfits that the major detail and the statement of this outfit is that these beautiful ladies are wearing all white. I just want to say really quickly, you guys, that if you know any of the ladies in these pictures, sometimes I cannot find the names. If you know any of these ladies, please let us know. So I love the look of all three of these looks. Again, the big thing is that they're wearing all white, but they're all wearing all white very different. If you are the type of person that likes to be a little more fashion forward and like play with fashion a little bit, I love the look of this. It looked like a double belt or maybe two different belts. I don't know, but it's very fashion forward, very cute. Her pants are cargo and then a beautiful white oversized bag. ASOS and Aloe Yoga all have great options for white cargos. I, I, you know what? I was gonna give you a white collar shirt, some, some suggestions. I'll put some in the description box, but girl, you know that you have a white collar shirt. Listen, don't make me come to your house. You know you already have one. And one of the details to recreate this look is a white belt. Cause and Revolve have fabulous options. And if you absolutely need a big white bag, this one from Naked or this one from Banana Republic would do the trick. Out of the three, this one is probably my favorite, probably because of the clean lines and how straight forward it is. It's just a clean outfit to me. And I, lo I love the shape of the shirt. It's very sculptured and it really adds some more depth to the outfit. Something like this from Reformation can be used to recreate this look. And as far as skirt is concerned, there's so many, especially because it's summer right now. Reformation, Aritzia, J. Crew, and Dish all have fabulous options. She looks like she has on a Gucci bag, but of course it doesn't have to be Gucci. Any bag will match with this because of the white neutral color. But what I love most about this is that she layered some necklaces. And if you're not new here, you know I love a bit of shiny jewelry, right? You can use the gold or silver necklaces you already have and then add a really long one. I love what she did here. This one is currently in my shopping cart and would look fabulous with this outfit. So yeah, guys, please don't get discouraged. You will find your personal style. Everybody learns differently and at different paces. That's why you have me. <laughs> so you guys, you know that the Norship sale is here and I recently went into the store to do ship shopping and I had a bit of a surprise. Hey girl, hey. So I feel like we have some catching up to do since I didn't do a video two weeks ago because my family was here, right? So there's a few things really quickly. Um, the first thing is I'm doing this thing where I'm not letting things hold me back. For example, when I don't feel good about my weight, there's a lot of things I didn't do because I didn't feel good or I didn't feel like I look good. When my hair is not done, there's a lot of things I don't do. But recently I was like, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just get out there because I don't want to be held back. So recently, my hair was a mess, <laughs> but we went to the spa and you guys, it was probably the best thing that I could have done.
it was absolutely glorious. My hair, again, <laughs> it was a mess. It got wet. It was time for a touch-up, and it still is. I still need to touch up my grays. I don't regret going at all, and that's what I'm trying to do from now on. If I don't have an outfit, fine. If my hair is a mess, fine. I have to live in the moment. So that was great. The spa was amazing. And then last night, we went to the Django. Is that how you say it? The Django. The Django. <laughs> We went to the Django, which is this jazz club in the Roxy. And again, it was absolutely fabulous. Right now, we are going to the movies, which I'm not going to take you with because you don't need to see the movies. We are going to see A Quiet Place. Um, and we have some other running around to do. And of course, I will bring you with me. So we just saw the movie. It was absolutely fantastic. I feel like um, Lupita is a great actor. She has fantastic range. But now, since I'm over here, um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I love a certain type of butter. <laughs> so there's a place over here, this beautiful market where I can get um, my French butter. And then there is an independent bookstore over here that I've never been to. So we're gonna stop over there as well. So let's go get my butter. So it doesn't look like they have the um, butter that I usually get, like my French butter, but they do have this unsalted sweet cream butter, gourmet butter. Yeah, I know that's a bit extra. <laughs> look how big this is. Then I'm gonna try this. And when we were at Restoration Hardware and I had my avocado toast, they serve it with some pickled onions. This is fermented, is that the same thing? So I'm thinking about trying this. Let's see, this is not the most beautiful fruit you've ever seen. What? Oh, now look at these. These look like little watermelons. Oh, just dropped one.
So I did end up buying that butter, right? It was not cheap. <laughs> but I figure that if I can spend money on designer glass, sunglasses, and, you know, expensive niche perfumes and all the different things, I could spend money on something um, that's better for me or better for my body. Anyway, so I did end up eating that butter. Um, that bookstore, you guys, was my dream, okay? It had a coffee shop in there. It was, I just, I don't know how I missed that. I don't know if it's new or if I just walk past it all the time, but it was just great. I would love to go in there, look through all the books, spend hours. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love a good bookstore. So yeah, so anyway, we did those things. And now, against my better judgment, <laughs> we came to Nordstrom. A few of you mentioned that you write a list before you go shopping or you have a list so you don't go overboard at the Nordstrom sale. And I do not have a list. So what I'm doing right now is going to scope it out unless I find something that I really, really need right now. But you have to go in with a plan. And I, I agree with that. I don't have a plan yet. I'm just going to see what's there. And I'm going to take you guys along. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to dates. <laughs> Card member, shop early, July 9th and 14th. Today's the 7th. So, yeah. I love every shoe or every boot on this pedestal. Is this YSL? This is St. Laurent, of course. I love St. Laurent. They are so sharp. The flat boots, that's an old person word, sharp. The flat boots and the pointy toe, I can't. Oh. Hey girl, hey. So I just got back from, well not just got back, I got back, took a shower <laughs> from the gym. And while I was at the gym, something occurred to me. So on the Trainwell app, they're not paying me or anything right now, but on the Trainwell app, there is a option um, for friends, right? And I was thinking that maybe we can get like a group together um, just to help support one another and stay focused and stay in the gym, right? I know a few of you have already signed up or are at least trying it, um, but I would love to start a group. I mean to help you all, but if I'm being completely honest, to help me as well. <laughs> it's always nice to have a group of people to keep you um, motivated, to keep you on track. So you guys let me know if that's something you're interested in. I would love to have a Simply Cora group on that app where we're all working out um, and just, you know, trying to live our best lives. Let me know if that's interesting. A couple of weeks ago, my husband and I were out to dinner and he turns to me and he says, okay, I can't take it anymore. I have to tell you something. And I was like, tell me what child, we don't want no issues here. Okay. Like he said, I can't hold it any longer. I have to tell you, I got tickets and we are going to the Janet Jackson concert. I said, we are going where?
I have loved Janet Jackson since as long as I can remember. Janet Jackson put on such a great concert and I was a, a bit starstruck. Okay, so I have just walking around and being around New York City, I've seen many actors and quote unquote famous people. In fact, I used to teach the kids of a few actors um, and once you're around them for a long time, famous people, you just realize they are j literally just like us. They are just, they just have more money and more fame, but they are the exact same, right? When you are sitting in a parent teacher's conference and you're talking about their kids and they're worried about their kids and their family problems, you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> These are literally just people. But then there are a few people in my mind that are just super outrageous stars that I will get starstruck by. And it's not very many people. One is somebody like Diana Ross. You guys will have to hog tie me if I ever see Diana Ross in person, okay? I just think she's just fabulous. The other one, whether you like him or not, was definitely Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a world pop star. And then in my head, because I have a connection, um, a childhood connection, it would definitely be Janet Jackson. And I've always laughed at people that like cried at a Michael Jackson concert or at a Taylor Swift concert. I'm like, you guys, seriously, why are we crying? This is a person. And I didn't cry at a Janet Jackson concert, let's be clear. <laughs> but I was overwhelmed for so many reasons. One, because it's a friggin' Jackson, okay? I was extremely happy to see a Jackson. I don't know why, but it was great just to be in the area. And then the other thing is, is I had this connection with, in my mind, obviously, with Janet since I was a kid, right? So one night, it had to be a Saturday night, or else I should have been in the bed, but it was a late night talk show that Janet Jackson was doing an interview with. And I remember the interviewer, I remember them asking her if she was uncomfortable or something along those lines. And they got on them how got around to the fact that she was shy and um, she's very introverted. And as a kid, I was extremely shy. My parents would like try to push me to go to talk to people. Um, I, I was just extremely shy <laughs> and introverted. I will say now that I am not shy. I will talk to people, um, but I am introverted, right? That doesn't mean, now it doesn't mean if you see me on the street, not to say nothing. If you see me on the street and you come back to these comments and say, I saw you, but didn't say anything, you and I are gonna have an issue, okay? If you see me, always say something. It's funny because every time I run into one of you all, I am probably dancing around or I'm singing, always very embarrassing. <laughs> every time and it's always almost always when we're shopping but anyway so I would say now that I am introverted I have a hundred percent learned to navigate that um, being an adult you know being in a working environment even making YouTube videos but as a child it did make me feel odd or made me feel weird both of my parents are extremely extroverted my husband extremely extroverted my dad last time or two times he was back here he came back to new york for a visit and we went to go visit um, my uncle's church and my dad didn't know any of those people when i'm telling you daddy was talking to every single person in that church he was making fun of them he was laughing with them and i was after that i was like dad do you know any of these people he said no <laughs> no, no, no. My mom always has tons of friends. She's very extroverted. And my husband, I can't even begin to tell you how extroverted that man is, okay? He can be around people forever and ever. And I, at some point, be like, all right, now we got to go home. So my parents did a lot to make me more extroverted. And they would put me in ballet and I, I that did not take, I ran away. <laughs> In fact, when I started doing YouTube, my mom was confused, like, how are you doing YouTube? And I was saying, because I'm just, I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in my room talking to myself, right? Again, because, listen, I almost don't want to tell you all this. But if you see me in the street and you don't say anything, I'm going to have a problem. If you see me, say something. Just because I'm introverted doesn't mean I want to talk to you. Say something, <laughs> okay? Anyway, Jenna Jackson, when I found that she was shy and that she was introverted, but was this mega pop star and just this crazy talent. It somehow made me feel better about 
how I was. Not that my parents made me feel bad and they weren't trying to. They were doing what they were supposed to do. But that somehow made me feel better. And all of a sudden I was listening to all Janet Jackson because I felt that if she can be this mega pop star but still be shy and introverted, I could float through the world. I just had to figure out the tools or, or how to do it, right? It's the same thing with Beyonce. Apparently Beyonce is introverted um, and a bit shy and she is this huge pop star. So anyway, I say all that to say that it was such a great moment to finally see Janet frigging Jackson. <laughs> Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. And she sang that. You guys, I was yelling and screaming and singing every word. I was just, my husband did a great job. I told you guys he does a great job at getting um, things for me and finding things for us to do. I had no idea he was going to do that. So I am extremely and forever grateful. And I cannot wait to see her again if I ever get to see her again. Oh, anyway, so that was a busy vlog, right? So anyway, you guys, I'm going to go edit this vlog. That's why I have these glasses on to make me feel studious. <laughs> And I'll talk to you in the next vlog. My absolute favorite part of these videos is going to find things to show you guys for the fabulous finds a selection. I find so many good things. It's not really good for my wallet and I know it's not really good for you guys wallet, but we're here to shop sometimes, right? So sometimes we have to shop. Here's this week's fabulous finds. I absolutely need some more color in my wardrobe and I told you guys in a couple of videos that I'm like struggling right now <laughs> when I look back on my fall videos and my fall outfits there was so much neutral even my summer outfits right now I've had so much black and white and beige and I feel like I just need a little more color. I don't know what's happening. Um, someone suggested maybe the closer I get to my weight and the more comfortable I feel with in my body as I lose weight, that color, um, I might wear more color. And that is definitely a possibility. But I say all that to say that this beautiful pink coat from the Nordstrom sale is just stunning. Now, I don't know if it's a winter coat because it does look a little thin it might be more of a fall like you know situation um but either way how beautiful is this color if you remember the denim jacket debacle <laughs> that we had on this channel this is dark denim this is nipped in at the waist this is a very chic alternative if you are not big into denim the cut the color the length all just perfect for someone who wants to wear denim um but wants it to be a little more chic speaking of chic these flat top Celine sunglasses are so up my alley. If you watched my first sunglasses um, declutter, you saw that I had a lot of flat top sunglasses. So I'm trying to stay away from these, <laughs> but I mean, it's the sale. So if you do want a pair of Celine sunglasses, these are classic and easy to wear, um, and they are in the sale. During the winter, you all know that I was on a mission to find some jeans that I felt good in. And so many of you said, you guys gave me actually a lot of different suggestions that I will get back into during the fall. But so many of you said to try Good American and that's what I did first and you, do, you all did not disappoint me. These jeans, again, are in the sale. In my opinion, have the perfect amount of bagginess. They do look a bit long. I had to get mine tailored. These look very similar to the ones I have from Good American and I cannot recommend Good American jeans enough. I have a several pair now since you all have suggested them to me. Speaking of Good American, this denim motor jacket it um, is super cool right especially the way they styled it with the denim long skirt imagine this with a pair of long boots and a clutch purse some really cool sunglasses if it's made out of the same material that my jeans are made out of this is going to be extremely comfortable also keeping with the Nordstrom sale these shoes I feel like are perfect if you don't like really high heels this heel doesn't look too high for me again though I am a person that walked in heels very often so you know I might not be the best to judge <laughs> but these are Kenneth Cole I believe and as we know leopard print and snakeskin print are very much in right now 
Um, so these work well. I do like that there is a strap in the front just for extra support. And even though it's a print, it is a neutral and can be worn with so many things. If you love snakeskin and you love heels, these are a fabulous option. And stepping away from the Nordstrom sale, I wanted to show you guys something that I recently got. I have been looking at the Louis Vuitton Nice forever and every time I put it in my cart I take it out in my cart and I'm actually a little annoyed that I didn't buy it years ago because the price has gone up so while I'm making my decision <laughs> but until then I got this little makeup case from Brahmin that I feel like is so cute it does come in different colors but for me it was going to be black or brown you are somebody that's a little more fun and um, love color I think they have a beautiful pink color and a blue color but for me like I said it was gonna be black or brown so I'm very excited to use this on my travels it's just like extremely chic and then remember in last week's videos when we were talking about the things that we find chic so you guys you told me to go check out Aspinall of London and I have been doing that for months now we're gonna talk about that in, in a later video but I was looking for a leather bound notebook and I found one at Aspinall of London and we'll talk about that later as well but I came across this compact and the first picture I saw of it was the one on the left when it was open. And I was like, oh wow, that's super cute, right? And then I swiped and I saw it close and I was like, oh wait, that's chic. And then I swiped and then I saw it with the initials. You could add your initials, are you kidding? Extremely chic, imagine pulling this out of your bag just to touch up your lipstick or your gloss. I mean, oh, guys, how incredibly chic is that? Well, I put it black because, you know, <laughs> I love black, but it also comes in pink, which I thought was super cute, and blue, and I believe like a nice cream color. There were several colors. I feel like it's so chic. And also, what a fantastic gift for Christmas, even though I know we're far, we're far away from Christmas, but like for Christmas, grad, graduation gifts, um, I just think this is just so incredibly chic and I might have to buy it. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, I feel like the Chanel one is also chic, um, but my Chanel mirror fell out and I'm so disappointed. This is just uh, next level in my opinion, next level. And then I found these on Shopbop. Now, I love the Kate earrings that look very much like this. I do not love the Kate price. And I have been telling myself for months now, just because I have the money or I can afford something doesn't mean I have to buy it, especially when it's not necessarily worth the price. Now, I love my Kate boots, earrings that cost hundreds of dollars that are not gold. Oh, I, I still have a hard time. I still have a hard time with, with that. But I found these that were on Shopbop that were so much cheaper. I believe these are like $50 that look so much like the Kate earrings. And then also on Shopbop from that same brand, they have this beautiful silver cuff. I've been trying to get silver into my wardrobe. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that my undertones are so warm that the silver just looks, ah, uh, does not work for me. And I'm actually devastated because silver is so on trend right now and I'm seeing it on everyone and it looks so pretty. So I have two options. One, somebody recently told me that there are different tones to silver. I don't know how, how true that is, so I will be doing some research, but if that's true, maybe I can find something that works for me. And you think about it, I, I know that gold has different tones, so maybe silver does as well. And the other thing is, is that I can mix metals, which I have done before, and I do do, right? Um, and that's another way to wear silver, but uh, I, I just want to wear it just by itself. And then, you guys, I found this on ASOS. Now, this is not leather, right? But how beautiful is this? This would be a great travel bag, right? You could fit everything in here. I actually might buy this. I actually might buy this for travel. I think this is gorgeous. Of course, it's giving you Bottega vibes. I know we're tired of Bottega, but here we are. And then I also found this at ASOS. It's getting me about this bag is that it's 66 or $69 and it's real suede. So that's about to go on my cart. <laughs> it is real suede. I love the slouchiness of it. It is super duper affordable and very much up my alley. So anyway, you guys, this is a mix of some Nordstrom sales and some other little fabulous finds I found this week. Have you gone shopping this week? And what did you get? Let me know.
Anyway, you guys, it is so hot in New York City right now. I've been recording without the AC and I'm dying. I'm literally dying and I'm sweating profusely. Cannot take it anymore. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, but I gotta go. Let me know if you found your personal style. Let me know if you have shot the Nordstrom sale yet on the correct date. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.